Welcome back to Beer Brackets, everybody. This is a big deal for us. We've done some versus battles before, some pretty epic versus battles. We've done Heineken can versus bottle. We've done Stella Artois can versus bottle amongst a whole bunch of other ones. But today we're shifting things a little bit. We're turning things around. And for the first time ever, now Sandra, we're pitting two different beers against each other. And we are gonna answer another ancient, I, I, I have to think it's an ancient question. It must be at this point, right? An ancient historical question on whether, which one I should say is preferable, Heineken or Stella Artois? Woo, let's find out. As you may notice, Alessandro's got two bottles going there. On my end, I'm actually gonna go with a bottle and a can. So if you checked out our can versus bottle episodes, you'll know that we both preferred Stella Artois out of the can, and we both preferred Heineken out of the bottle. So I'm gonna be comparing our two favorite versions of them, and he's gonna be comparing two bottle versions. Let's do it, man. I'm ready. It's time Ooh. to open the beers. <laughs> it is time to open the beers. I'm actually really curious here which one's going to come out on top. I don't know. I think this one is going to be close. It's going to be very interesting. I don't think I've ever yeah. compared these two beers back to back, so I'm excited. I mean, I think in general they're pretty comparable. I mean, you know that most, let's say, restaurants or bars will likely have one of these two beers on tap if they do have some you know, popular, well-known, accessible beers, it'll most likely be one of these two. I think in most people's minds to the average beer consumer, these are probably very comparable, maybe even, can I say, interchangeable maybe for some people. So it's gonna be fun to find out. Dude, let's just dig in and give me your impressions. Hmm. Ah, mm. So they are very comparable. I don't know what you think. Mm. I can definitely see them being comparable, but, but, but mm. there are differences. <laughs> there are definitely there differences, are differences, that's for in sure. In my opinion. You know, like in terms of like a, a body on the beers, I think they're very, very similar. If yes. you compare the two side by side, they have similar levels of carbonation. Color wise, they're very similar. Of course, for myself drinking out of the bottle, the bottle version of Heineken is a lot more skunky. Uh, that skunkiness isn't so present in the Stella because we have the can version. Mm. Oh, wow, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be really tough. What do you think so far? Is there anything that jumps out at you? For me, the biggest thing is the, let's call it uh, hop slash malt ratio. It's quite Ooh, different. I like that ratio, it's a good ratio. The hop character on the two beers, I find like it's quite different on the aroma, in particular on the Stella Artois. Yeah. Uh, for me, the the, the hops, they, they're using there, it's a little bit more pleasant, or I, I tend to prefer that, it's a little bit more. And the, the malt presence mm -hmm. in the two is also quite different, uh, trying them back to back. Uh, yeah. um, I find the Heineken, at least in the bottle compared yeah. to the two, uh, showing off a little bit more maltiness. It is, right? I agree with that 100%. But I need to take another reading here because, <laughs> you know. You know what, I, the Stella Artois is a lot more uh, malty on the aroma. I find it's a lot more bready and I actually much prefer that. So for me, the aroma of the Stella is much more present and that's definitely my favorite by far. On the taste, they're kind of very similar, but the Stella's a little bit more malt forward. It's a little bit more bready. So I think I'm leaning more towards the Stella on that as well, man. I got to test the mouthfeel though. Hmm. I'm gonna go Stella on the mouthfeel too, actually. I'm leaning pretty heavily towards the Stella so far. I wasn't expecting that. It's it's interesting. Uh, I like how mm. you described that maltiness on the Stella being, that breadiness yeah. on the aroma being more there. I do get it and I agree absolutely 100%. I still prefer that. Yeah. But I do like that hop character on the Stella. It's more subtle. Uh, the, and I think it's all like the type of hops that it's used. Um, I, I just like yeah. resonates with me a little bit more. Mouthfeel wise, I think I still would go with the Stella for the fact that the Heineken, yeah. at least here for me, is still showing a little bit of that 
stickiness that sometimes we talk about. It's we're talking about splitting hairs, really, uh, but just yeah. comparing them back to back. I'm also leaning towards Stella. What about finish, though? What do you think about that? You know, the Heineken, and this is something that I always didn't like out of Heineken, where I find the finish is a little bit more acidic. Mm -hmm. It's um, on the Stella, you get a lot more of the malt on the finish, whereas Heineken, it's very, very acidic on the finish. And I'm not sure exactly in this case what's causing that acidity, but it's very noticeable. And I, I've always thought this, whether it was out of can, whether it was out of a bottle, whether it was on tap, finish that always prevented me from being able to drink, a, let's say, a few of them over the course of the night. A Heineken was always something where I'd get one ice cold bottle, enjoy that for what it was, but it wasn't very sessionable for me. And I think that's why. I think it's very, it's the finish on Heineken that I was never too crazy about, but Stella, the finish is really, really nice, man. It's really, it, it's bready, it's malty. Um, it doesn't linger for too long. It's There's a nice level of carbonation that rounds it out with the mouthfeel. I, I think the side that I'm on is pretty clear on this one. <laughs> well, I, I, I like your description of the finish on the Heineken. Uh, to me, that comes down again, like to the, I think, uh, what I perceive as the, the hawks that have been used, that bitterness yeah. that shows up in the Heineken to me. Uh, it's lingering a little bit more. Well, I really like the way on the Stella, uh, like it, that breadiness comes back and the hops are just like crisp and clean. So uh, yeah, I, I definitely prefer the Stella to finish too. So I don't know you, man, but I'm leaning heavily here towards <laughs> one of the two. <laughs> I think we're both leaning pretty heavily towards one of the two. So in the first ever beer brackets, beer versus beer battle, I think Stella, man, is coming out on top. It looks like it. it is. We have a winner. Crown the winner. So can or bottle, doesn't really matter. Seems like Stella wins. It seems like Stella wins either way. So if guys, this is the kind of beer that you're looking for. If you're a fan of one or the other, we definitely personally recommend Stella. Again, this is all subjective. Let us know down below what you think, which one do you prefer? What do you think about it? Please let us know. As always, we love to hear it. And cheers, everyone. Let us know if there are two other beers that you'd like to see go head to head. Put in a comment down below and we'll definitely get to it, we promise. Cheers. Cheers. And no matter what, don't forget to close your beer brackets. Mm. Open with a Heineken, close with a Stella. Never forget. <laughs>